Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what I think is the most efficient way to level up a new character in Black Desert, specifically targeting the Season character. However, console players will be able to take advantage of this, as well as anyone making any new character in Black Desert. Now, before you even comment anything, I know there are faster ways to do this, but they don't accomplish all the things that this leveling method does accomplish, and that's why I think it is the most efficient. Anyway, real quick before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and you still have not subscribed yet, please consider it, helps to grow my channel, and you'll stay up to date when new content does come out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off with the stuff you need to do before you even get started with your new character. So a few days ago, I put out a video about all the different things you can do to prepare for a seasoned character or a new character in Black Desert. Would recommend watching this video if you haven't already. I'm not going to remake a seven minute video. That's just stupid. The TLDR to that video is to put all the different story accessories that you've picked up through your journeys, as well as story armor pieces and any buffs you want to carry along with you for your new character in a storage bank area near the start of the game, like Heidel or Valia or Olvia. And that video goes through all those different items that you can transfer. So once you have all those items set up and ready to go and you're ready to actually start leveling, leveling a character most efficiently involves several key phases. The first is the intro story bit, then the first grind, and then the later story bit, and then you can just do whatever you want. I don't know why I said first grind, because it's the only grind you're going to do. So when you do start a new character, you're going to drop off in front of the Ancient Stone Chamber, and what you're going to do is play through the storyline, the main Black Spirit storyline quests, all the way up to Heidel. So they'll take you around to Velia, do some castle stuff, and over to Heidel. This takes about 25 to 30 minutes to complete all these quests, maybe a little bit longer if you're walking slowly or you've never done it before. Once you get to Heidel, this is usually where I begin to do my grinding phase. However, if you are a completely new player and have never played through Black Desert before, I'd recommend just playing through the story at this point and continue to play through it. It's going to give you a bunch of gear and a bunch of other items that you can then transfer to a new character later, like I was saying, all these different items, and it'll make future characters a lot easier rather than trying to grind through this. So if you did follow my video from the other day, you're going to have a bunch of weapons and gear and it'll make the grind super easy. If you don't have those weapons or gear, you're going to want to play through the first like eight quests of Heidel. The first eight quests of Heidel are going to take you to the Lynch Farm Ruins. And in the Lynch Farm Ruins, you're going to kill a boss over here. Killing that boss will give you this weapon that I have right here on my character in the live stream of me doing this, the Naru Shamshir or Naru whatever weapon it is. So the Naru weapon can be enhanced up to Pen, which has 75 AP and it is more than enough to get you through the entirety of the first phase of grinding when used in conjunction with a simple crown meal. So simple crown meals can still be purchased from the Oasis vendor alley right here, right now. For one silver apiece, they provide you 30 AP bonus, combat EXP buffs, attack speed, crit hit, all those different things. So you're gonna wanna make sure to pick up a few of those as well at any Oasis vendor who's located near the Stable Keeper in every major city. If you are in Heidel in this case, the Oasis vendor is located right here next to the Stable Keeper. So just below the little Heidel icon right here where my mouse is doing a little circle. So anyway, once you have all your gear transferred in Heidel, or you've picked up that weapon, you're going to want to go on your grind here, your first grind. And the first grind objective is to take you from like level 17, 18, 19, which you should be by hitting Heidel, all the way up to level 56. So in order to do that, you have a few different routes you can take. My favorite personal one to go is down into the Moretti Plantation, followed by the Castle Ruins, across from the Castle Ruins through Swamp Fogans into the Bloody Monastery, from the Bloody Monastery up and across the Orc Camp, over through the Keplin Mine area, all the way over to the refugee camp, grind at the refugee camp, and from here either go to the trolls or the birdie boys out here, the Mascals Forest, and then from there back down to the catfishmen to level 51-ish, 50-ish, somewhere in that region. From here, make the trek all the way back across the map over to Helm's Post or to the main's hideout, depending on what your AP is at. Both of those places are pretty close on EXP. Obviously, the Helm's Post is a little bit faster, but still. Um, and if you have exceptional AP, you can go all the way up to the Salzen Garrison if you want instead. This whole bit of grinding should take you about two hours to do solo. If you have a friend that can just power level you here, yes, this is the opportunity to use your friend to power level you to 56, maybe even 57. But if you are a solo player, this is your best bet. Now, once you've completed this initial grind, and I do have videos on all of this on my channel, if you need more information about any of these different sponsor locations right here in this playlist, which will be linked in the description below. But anyway, once you finish that initial grind to 56, head on back to Heidel. Now from here on out, you're going to want to make sure to equip the Chenga Shrekran Tome of Wisdom if you don't know what this book is or how to get this book. A common theme on the Evil Do Us Harm channel is that there's a video for that, and we have a 12 minute long video showing you this quest line. So once again, I'm not going to remake a video that's already made. But anyway, with this book equipped, all side quests and main story quests that you do that give combat EXP are going to give 30% more EXP, which means you're going to take this book and you're going to play through the main story doing every single side quest that provides you combat EXP at every single place that the main story takes you to. Basically, it's going to take you around the Moretti Plantation, the, all, it's through the whole story. Ultimately, you're going to end up in Calpheon. And by the time you get to Calpheon the second time, because the first lap of Calpheon is going to send you down and around, but the second time you get to Calpheon, you should be level 59. 
Now places that you're going to want to pay really, really close attention to to make sure you pick up everything. Calpheon. This has like 112-ish quests in it that provide combat EXP. You should be able to get like 100 and some odd percent EXP, so basically a full level in Calpheon. Another location that's really keen to pay attention to is the Northern Wheat Plantation, which is also going to send you to the abandoned land for a bunch of side quests and the isolated sentry post anti-troll fortification region up here. So between these two locations, there's probably another 65-70% EXP that you can pick up. So almost two levels can be gained in this Calpheon region. Other locations that are super EXP rich are Bear, which has I think 26%, and Trent, which has another like 18 or 19% of levels that you can pick up. So this whole loop around here when you get to Calpheon should be enough to give you two levels, and then any side quests you do along the way through the beginning portion of the story will take you up to level 59 by the time you're done with Calpheon. So the reason that we are doing these story quests all the way up to 59 rather than grinding or having someone power level us is because completion of the Calpheon main storylines provides you the maximum number of free inventory slots for a character that you get for playing through the story. So as you know, playing through the story gives you inventory expansions. They stop after Calpheon. Now, normally I would say go right on into my level 59 to 61 video, but the problem with the season server is that you need to upgrade to Tuvala gear since you can't use regular gear. Tuvala gear last season was locked out behind the Medea main storyline, which you need to play through the Calpheon storyline anyway in order to do. So if that is the same case for the season server when it goes live tomorrow, you'll want to continue playing through the storyline in the Medea region to be able to exchange for that Tuvala gear, the Naru gear that you get from playing through the story for the Tuvala gear. This is another major reason why we're doing this on a season character, because you can't equip really, really strong armors and whatnot that you need for the later portions of the leveling guide. You'll want to play through the story, get all the Naru gear, get all the Naru gear exchanged for Tuvala gear, and put that on before you start the next portion of the leveling guide. Now, if that's not the case, and you can just get Tuvala gear easier when the season starts up tomorrow, then by all means do that. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, guess what? There's a video for that too. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, we can begin the leveling portion 59 to 61. This is probably the longest slog of leveling that you'll be doing, and it starts in Brelin Farm. Once again, I have a leveling guide here of 59 to 60 and 60 to 61. I also have the full-on live stream sitting right here if you want to go ahead and watch that of me actually doing this so you can see where every single quest is. Now listen, I love views as much as the next guy, but I also don't feel like wasting your time, which is why I made this wonderful little PNG graphic. This is the probably hardest portion, most confusing portion of the leveling guide, and that's why I wanted to break it down. So this is linked in the description below, you can just pull up this image and look at it and whatnot, but basically what I've got is the generalized path that you're going to be taking as you progress through the regions to get yourself up to level 61, and then I have each of the little mini areas broken down with the amount of EXP that you should have at the end of each of these regions, or each of these little screenshots, um, before moving on to the next location. So following this path should get you to 202% EXP to 61, which basically means you've got two extra quests that you don't have to do in here. You can miss a couple of quests and still hit level 61 just from following this guide. But once again, if you're stuck at any point, I do have the full on leveling guides showing you each of the different areas. And then I have the full on live stream showing you me actually doing it. So both of these resources are available to you uh, if you want to go ahead and watch those. Also, one thing to point out about quests here when you are accepting these quests out here in Black Desert. The quests that give combat EXP have full yellow borders. So you can see this guy right here, he has a quest, but his quest is an incomplete yellow border. This quest will not reward you meaningful amounts of combat EXP, if anything. It needs to be a complete yellow border. There is one exception to this in the entire game guide here, and it's a visual bug, and it's the quest over here, down by the uh, the pier right here at Brelin Farm area, so the outpost supply port. There is one quest here that we accept, and I pointed out in the video as well that when we go over it, but right here, one quest where that doesn't hold true. Otherwise, when I'm saying do all the quests in an area, you're looking for all the quests that have complete yellow borders above the NPC. If you can't see all the quests, press the O key on the keyboard and make sure this button right here that says all is checked. Also, once again, make sure your Chenga Tome is equipped. You do not want to know the number of angry people I get in the comment section saying, bro, this guy blows. And then I say, well, how far behind are you? And they say like literally 30% of whatever they should have at that point. And then you say, did you have the Chenga Tome on? And they say, oh no, I didn't. Oh man, that sucks. Is there any way to get more EXP? The answer is no. There's literally like just enough EXP to hit level 61. So you need to have this Tome on. Don't forget it, and if you do forget it, don't blame me. Otherwise, I'll tell you to go check out this better guide that I made, and then I'll link you to this video. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So just to quickly recap all of the stuff that we talked about, get yourself set up and ready to go for minute one. Make sure you have all your story accessories, story armors, and story weapons in a storage area local to the starting point of the game so that you can pick it up in the storage and get ready to go. It has to be obtained from the story, so like the forest eye earring just as an example. After you've done that, play through the main storyline up until Heidel. If you don't have a weapon to transfer over, play eight quests into Heidel. If you do, just put on the weapon and get going. 
Start by grinding to 56 as fast as possible for the first go. This first grind really isn't too hard, just go to different areas on the map that have levels that are kind of close to what you are at. My Black Desert level 1 to 60 leveling guy blah 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 shows you a bunch of different rotations you can do, but you pretty much just look at the map. Now after you've hit 56, go ahead and equip your Chenga Tome, start up in Heidel, and play through the main storyline while doing all the side quests in every single area, and then follow my leveling infographic from 59 to 61 that I have linked in the description below. Pretty straightforward. Following this exact method last season ended up taking 15 hours and I was streaming so I was talking with people and doing stupid stuff during the stream as well. So you can probably knock this whole thing out 12, 13 hours pretty casually. It's super chill, you're just questing the whole time, you don't really have to deal with anybody, fighting with anybody for any areas because we're not going anywhere super populated other than Polly's Forest for like 10 minutes. So it's really just a casual, chill experience leveling up a new character. Now, if this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have ideas for other videos you want to see, let me know. And if you're excited about the season server, let me know what class you're playing, what you're going to be doing, and all that great stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching once again. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, which I'll be over there streaming me playing the Nova starting on Wednesday. I have to work on Tuesday, unfortunately, but Wednesday I'll be live streaming it um, right here on YouTube or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.